Hello, welcome to my second match in the Grant Market Grand Prix against Freaky. I thought about spelling Freaky's name Freak IX to fit with the theme of the tournament, but then Sepprix would be mad and Ziri would be mad and it would be a whole thing, so I didn't do that. Um, I did play a game earlier against um, Shashu um, late last night. Uh, JNL's made a video, I'll link that in the video to this one. Um, obviously we're opening page here pretty clearly. Um, remake is quite strong, but with the 5-2, I think I'm just going to grab the cavalry now, trigger a shuffle, move the page along. There's a little bit of opportunity cost there, but because I have the 5-2, um, I'll get the page in faster, or I'll get the cavalry in faster, so I like that opening here. Um, what are we building towards? We're building towards provinces, mostly. And you're single by pretty much, although you can remake into cavalries if those still exist. Doesn't seem super likely. So we get a cavalry, we advance the travelers, we get a remake. And then we get a bunch of catacombs, and then we province. Um, and here I'll happily take a second page. That seems reasonable to me. They hit their uh, remake turn three and are able to trash one estate. Um, we'll see if they get to trash two estates or an estate in a copper. Okay, um, I don't necessarily want like 10 pages, but I don't see much else to be done on this this draw. Like the silvers are fine because I can remake them into stuff. Um, my hope here is to buy a remake now. I could go for more cavalry stuff, but it seems quite slow. Um, man, so if I, I do this, I've got a treasure hunter and horses and stuff. It seems like this is going to be better, but I really do need one remake in the deck. Um, got some horses down there, cavalries. <clears throat> it just seems like getting getting the champion earlier, and then I can grab catacombs and have tons of draw. Um, I guess I'm going to try this. I'm adding a lot of terminals to the deck is the only problem. Uh, I'll have a bunch of warriors and cavalries and stuff. So I think I am going to grab the remake now. Slow, possibly cost myself a shuffle or two. Um, but feel pretty good about moving along. They've got two trashes now. Um, they've gotten two trashes now, so we can... Um, we're a little bit behind in trashing, although we've got a couple of horses in the deck. We've got the treasure hunter that they don't... They have a treasure hunter now, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see exactly what they're doing. Got just enough spectator chat there, but uh, they get a coven. Coven is kind of reasonable. We'll get a couple of attacks in before I get a champion down, um, and it feels a little bit early for catacombs with all the terminal stuff going on. Um, play the page. Yeah, I don't. I think remaking here twice is better than not at all. So I'll follow suit and grab one coven and a silver. And uh, obviously exchange the travelers. So I've got the treasure hunter now. I'm thinking about gaining another remake here. Um, and it feels a little bit slow. I have another horse down there, right? Um, the question is, do I have another page? I think I have another horse and another page down there. If I have another horse and another page. Um, I've gained two treasure hunters, three treasure hunters. I don't I have another treasure hunter down there, but that gives me another warrior. So I think I'm just going to happily take another remake and try to get remake stuff going. The other thing I could do is take a sauna, which feels a little bit slow, but I'm going to have a bunch of silvers in the deck. Um, just wanting to move along. I have a lot of terminals already. <clears throat> um, sewers is another consideration. I haven't gotten sewers yet. Um, hmm. There's a couple different things I could do here. How many cards did they gain last turn? Oh, I don't even want to play this uh, treasure hunter right now. Unfortunately, I do have a warrior already, so um, I'm going to pass on playing the treasure hunter and just buy a sewers. Yeah, I don't really want to gain five silvers on my turn. That feels bad. Maybe <clears throat> once I have the catacomb stack, I'm remaking stuff. Remake into remake, remake into remake into nobles and stuff, you can get extra gains along the way. Um, the goal of this shuffle is primarily to play the warrior as quickly as possible. 
Um, and also just to get a remake trash in, if I can do both, that would be great. Uh, given they're both terminals, it seems a little bit tough, but I'm going to prioritize playing the warrior over this. It's a big tournament in Freaky. I have not introduced Freaky yet, but if you see by their rating, they're at 67.92, which I believe is currently the highest rating on the server, which by, depending on how you measure it, means that they're the best Dominion player in the world. Um, I think most people would say the rating is not a 100% measure of that, but um, they're a perennial uh, contender in the world championship and um, those kind of things. So, okay, get a Coven attack in. Uh, last turn they gained a Cavalry, a Nobles, and a Necromancer. So they gained three. I think, so. per my priority of moving along, I'm going to end actions here and buy a Cavalry and see what happens. Okay, um, it didn't quite work out, so I didn't see that yet. So I can play the Treasure Hunter game, my three silvers, buy another cavalry. Again, trying just trying to sort of desperately see, um, desperately see my warrior, which I didn't, but I did see the um, I didn't see the, the estates, so I can turn both the estates into silvers, um, or I could turn a silver into like a sauna. Um, gain a silver, turn a silver into a Necromancer seems fine, better than a sauna, and take a warrior. So unfortunately, that warrior play by them, they got the warrior first and they were able to force me to play a bad shuffle. So I can't play this treasure hunter here and then play the warrior, which is not the greatest shuffle in the world, but it is what it is. Um, so now... I have to start considering if this game is going to last long enough to um, to actually get the hero and the champion going, or if I just liquidate and start turning all these silvers into green cards, which doesn't seem particularly good. So I just get a nobles here. It's a green card. Um, you could potentially pilgrimage for it later. Uh, I suppose that is what I will do. It's also a, a smithy. Essentially, so yeah, I've exchanged the warrior, and probably from here on out, I'm going to keep keep all my warriors as warriors. Um, yeah, the shuffle's gotten quite big with silvers. Um, Fourteen silvers have been gained, so actually moving through the deck and having enough draw to do what you want to do is going to be difficult. Cavalries are running, but that's really the only pile that's running. Um, so I can't just like remake um, cavalry into kill a copper, gain a catacombs, trash a silver. Um, I suppose another necromancer is fine. There's going to be cavalries in the trash, covens and stuff. So second necromancer seems fine. Silvers don't seem great for the deck. Um, now I'll probably just get another nobles here. Nobles is also a village for whatever that's worth. There are cavalries. There's also a coven in FH in the trash. So um, not sure how the coven got in the trash. They must have zombie necromancered it to their zombie apprenticed it to draw at some point. Or remade it into a nobles. That makes more sense. And yeah, they remade it into a nobles, which makes more sense. Remaking Catacombs is nice because you can gain a Nobles and a Cavalry and draw. Um, they will play their hero here. Um, I'm a little bit behind just because I missed um, missed that shuffle, unfortunately, with my... Their warrior caused my hero to miss the shuffle. i forgotten that you could minimize the chat in this view. Wow, they got that girl right at the top of this shuffle too. So I feel pretty lost now. I don't think I made any significant mistakes. Um, maybe the first cavalry was worse than the remake. Um, I think in theory, I can do some really nice things if I uh, high roll there and um, 
their warrior play caused my warrior was at the near the bottom of my deck, and their warrior play caused me to miss the shuffle. So my traveler is just a, a shuffle behind, and now they're able to to gonna be able to like draw a deck and stuff. So I'm I feel like I'm pretty much lost in this position. Um, it's not clear to me if it's specifically due to my play or just due to the traveler stuff. Um, that hurts. That hurts quite a bit. I wanted that warrior. Um, this is going to be close to resignable here. Um, I can give it another turn or two, but this one feels pretty much over. Um, the thinner deck with the remake does enable you to to progress through the deck faster, but um, that's sort of an independent variable to my travelers missing the shuffles. Um, and I could have triggered a better shuffle to get my wearer through, but they had gained five silvers that turn, which would have gained me five silvers, so it's not really triggering a better shuffle. But they're drawing deck here. Um, yeah, okay. This one feels, feels like we're good there. Say good game to them. Uh, they were first player there. So I get to be first player of the second game. Um, and we move on to game two.